Yo, what's up my dudes? Hope you're all doing good. So, you join me today in my office. We've got Finn down here looking for a, a treat. What's up? Why am I doing a vlog? I thought I'd bring you back to the shop real quick. Kind of exciting. And Katie, who you may have seen in one of my most successful videos, she is friends with some guys that own a garage, like a performance garage, and they sell cars. They have some amazing stock, and I'm not going to lie, I'd only ever seen their photos on Facebook. So their paid adverts, I didn't even realise they were local, and Katie got in touch and said, do you want to come do some videos with me? I can get you to do a couple of the cars as well. So fingers crossed today goes as I think it will. We've got two really, really, really cool cars that I should be allowed to drive. Fingers crossed everything goes well. With that, I thought we'd be able to show you around their showroom and all the rest of it. So we're currently at the shop. Um, we're tidying up after our meet that we held the other day. And I'm sorry I didn't promote it hugely. It's just we didn't know how many cars would be able to get out of the venue. And I know when we do proper meets and we promote heavily, we can shut down places. And I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to be able to uh, enjoy the day and relax and stuff like that. So I'm going to head up there in about an hour. going to crack on with more stuff here. I'm just uploading right now. This is how far behind we are because obviously I'm trying to stick to two days uploads. I'm doing the B7 TMY video. That is the one we are uploading today. What I'm trying to get out of YouTube is one feature and one review per week. And I may add one extra review video or something like that in if the car itself isn't like a modified car or something that I think my subscribers themselves would be that interested in because I'm probably going to start doing normal cars as well and that's purely because I enjoy doing them. Oh, you cutie. So I'm going to do my absolute best of the YouTube. I'm going to try my absolute best, like I said, for you guys. I've got, I'm definitely going to be doing an update on my Sylvia soon and obviously on my Touareg. But the Sylvia, I managed to get down to Rockingham drift days yesterday and I made it a real last minute decision. I managed yesterday to get on at the very last minute of the Rockingham drift days and we got out and we got a few laps in. The car is still playing up but that was expected if we hit the limit. Uh, the track I was out on was the was on the Meehan layout and you have to like when you're going in the wall downshift if you want to carry it through. So I wanted to stay in boost, downshift it and it made it misfire. It, it was expected to happen. Uh, Martin the mapper said that would happen. So um, nothing I wasn't expecting but it's just made me want to get the car finished and quicker. So I think we're going to look at parts order. They A couple of the guys reckon my lifters need doing which I have no idea, so I've asked them if they'll do it for me, and they've said yes, so I just need to sort out a date going to do that. There's a lot of stuff been going on behind the scenes, but like I said, I kind of wanted to keep the projects just as my hobbies again for a little while, because YouTube's a hobby, my cars are my hobby, and sometimes social media gets the better of you. So I'm just, just keeping it down. I will we'll update you on some more stuff very soon. I'm probably going to do some bits on the Civic tomorrow if the parts turn up. I've ordered. I might film that. But, yeah, right. Let's crack on with some work before I uh, I lose my job, and then um, I will uh, I'll catch up with you guys shortly when we head up to the garage. We check out their insane stock. Honestly, they've got some amazing cars that I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think you'd like it. Remember, I'll catch you guys there. I am now down at Mantis Cars here in Colchester, and I'm just having a little look around the showroom before Katie gets here and. Look what is behind me. What did I mention in my E36 video? An E36 convertible and they've got an M3 here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I ain't buying it, but this is what I would like one day. An M3 in the Estoril blue drop top. I think it looks amazing. The cars they have inside though is insane. Some of them are amazing. Like, I have to show you them. So I'm gonna have to double check with uh, Sam, the gent that I've met here, to see if he doesn't mind me doing a couple of videos in there. Um, a couple of, uh, a little walk around in the actual showroom itself before going in, but look at that, man. That is absolutely superb. Love that. A couple of STs out here as well. This one, this one's quite modified. Looks like it's got 15, 52 wheels on it. Got the orange accents. There's a few other weird little uh, Daihatsu Chopin over there. Proper little noddy car. I think it's got the stickers on it to make it look like it too. It's also got an E46 outside here with another ST. I really, really want to head in and show you, but he's just bringing out one of the cars now. We're in the showroom now, and they've got a, an insane Renault 5 Turbo 2 in here, which is, which literally has 
I think it's um, about 17,000 miles on the clock and we're looking at a price tag on this thing. Uh, uh, take, take a deep breath. 125,000 pound that car is up for. Who, who would think of this when it come, when these cars were out? Back in the day, man, 125,000 pounds this car is up for. Amazing. Next, we've got a Porsche Speedster. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask this a real one. I assume it is compared to everything else they've got in here, but absolutely beautiful once again. Now, underneath that cover is one of the cars we're gonna be driving, I think. Um, yep, yeah, excited about that. We've got a little Fiat 500L, a few other really, really nice spec cars. But behind here, we have a Lamborghini that some of the young viewers may never have uh, experienced before. This is what Lamborghini started out with making, look. And they have one here for sale. So I think this is probably Paul Wallace's next purchase. Can't wait to see him wrap this. Up tucked up right here, unfortunately this car has now been sold. So I can't touch it or anything like that, but it is a Lotus Carlton and it is in the beautiful green. It is in such insanely good condition as well, man. This thing, this thing was up for 75,000 pounds. The value of some of the old 80s cars now is insane, but I'll tell you what, if you want one in good nick, you're gonna have to pay the price for them now, aren't you? It's so nice. Next week we've got an imported STI. Pretty cool. Really nice condition as well. It's like all the other cars they have in here. It's in lovely condition once again. Got the uh, Ferrari 355 F1 Spider here. Looks like it's got the F1 gearbox in it. I think that's probably why it's got F1 written on the back. But yeah. Oh. Katie's here. Got new wheels and a whip. Got a E92 M3. F80 M3. Look at that number plate as well, Mr. Owen. That's got, that's insane. That's gonna be worth some money and all. Got a Cobra. Got a nice uh, old Bentley up the back. It's a crazy Land Rover thing. Look at this. I wish I could tell you more about this. I have no idea. It's just insane. Some big old light bars on the top. Momo wheel in there. Look at that. Jeez, a little Morris Minor tucked up the back here and all. Audi RS3. We've got an R8 V10 convertible with some Oakley design parts all on it. Nice. Wow, that's a sick car. Look at that carbon fiber. Got a Lotus over here and all. Man, they've got some fucking wild cars in there. Right, so that is that. We've now done the cars. Hopefully we'll be able to work with Mantis more. They've already offered me a couple more cars if they can agree it with the people that have already bought them. So we'll have to just see about that. And they've also said we might, might be able to take this up the road. We're not gonna be able to take this far purely because of how low the mileage is, but we might be able to run it up the road. So we're gonna have to double check on that. But look at this car, boys. Look at this, look at the design. This is France at its absolute finest. Love it. So what we'll do, is because obviously these guys are local to me, we'll be able to come back down, hopefully form some form of relationship with them and do much, much more. I just want to have a quick look around their showroom again in case I missed anything. But yeah, let's head back inside. This poor Speedster is absolutely insane. You just don't see them. And I've seen one. Amazing. Look at that, look how classy this interior Smell is. Smell that. That's like, that smells expensive. Yes, it does smell expensive. It smells very expensive. <laughs> It's just all so cool in here. I really appreciate them letting me come and just like play around with some of their cars and it's awesome. It's just awesome. This is Mr. Oakley's. We found out this is actually owned by Mr. Oakley Design himself. It's just got all of his pack on it and wow. That is some kind of supercharged as well. Sorry, I should say that. So it's like a 200,000 pound car now, which is just mind boggling when you think of money. So hopefully we'll be able to do a lot more stuff and maybe get in depth with a few more of these cars but i just got to make sure that they like the video i've created i'm now going to head out so i'll catch you guys in a bit i've got an e46 m3 convertible as well look at that that is beautiful what a car right home time i didn't make an outro so you join me in the shop filming on my iphone so sorry if the quality has differed a little bit i just want to say again thank you to mantis cars for letting me come down check out their stock and drive their m3 You'll see that in a video soon, and oh man, it 
it was amazing. I'll just tell you that straight up. It was amazing. Um, I really hope you like this vlog. I really hope Mantis will invite me back down and allow me to do more stuff with them. Uh, obviously, they've got insane stock up there. And I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like on it. If you leave a like, um, hopefully it will show Mantis that you enjoyed it. And I'll be able to go back down and hopefully take that Lotus out if it isn't gone, gone by then. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, if, uh, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, guys. Um, make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for plenty more videos. And if you just hit the bell, that will notify you when I upload. But it's every Monday and Thursday for now, for the foreseeable future. And don't forget to check out my Patreon. There are rewards available on the Patreon if you head over and support us on there. Right, for now, I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Peace.